Crossing the World of Pirates, by Xiao awakened a hundred times stronger golden fingers. Every time you encounter a strong enemy, you will receive a hundred times stronger reinforcement than the opponent's strength. Physical Enhancement, Two Color Domineering. Six Styles, Tyrant Color Entanglement. Just about to start a big fight, I didn't expect to just solve a third-rate pirate group and find the thief cat Nami packing up the pirate group's property. That's my money, you keep it for me too. Bai Xiao captured Nami on the spot and collected it as one of the spoils of war. Then, as we set off towards the great course, we collected more and more spoils, and even seven days a week were not enough. Vivi, please, please save Alabastian. Nicole Robin. In this world, only you can provide me with shelter. Boya Hancock. You can smash the Heavenly Dragon Man Holy Land. My body and Nine Snake Island belong to you. I am, dot. Felu Novel Network reminds you that this novel and its characters are purely fictional. If there are any similarities, they are purely coincidental and should not be imitated. Chapter 1. Travel. Nami falls into my hand. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Unexpectedly traveled. On a small pirate ship, a young man with black hair sat at the bow, muttering to himself, behind him, fierce looking pirates collapsed on the deck, their eyes turning white and falling into a baby like sleep. Yes, it's the Red Ghost Pirates. On the distant dock, someone screamed in fear. Ah. Upon hearing the word pirate group, the dock instantly became a mess. Everyone threw away their belongings and rushed to escape. Run quickly. Notify the security team. Go home and hide. In the blink of an eye, 90% of the people on the dock ran away. But there are also a few people who notice that the situation of the pirate ship is not right. It seems like something's wrong, someone whispered. They looked at the pirate ship slowly approaching the dock and were surprised to find a young man with black hair sitting at the bow of the ship. How does this young man look? He has a handsome appearance and a loose expression, like scholars, teachers, doctors, and other people in a big city, full of a gentle and harmless temperament. No matter how it looks, it doesn't seem like a pirate. Look behind. A sharp-eyed person shouted, pointing to the deck behind the young man. Others looked around and were surprised. It's a member of the Red Ghost Pirates. They seem to have fainted. Can we say that this pirate group has already been solved? It's really fake, Red Ghost has a bounty of up to three million bailey. The crowd looked incredulously at the young man at the bow of the ship. The current situation seems to be that this young man has solved the Red Ghost Pirates. How could this be possible? No matter how this young man looks, he has nothing to do with strength. How can we solve a group of extremely vicious pirates? Ha <laughs> ha. The young man listened to these people's words, his lips slightly curled up. If it were half an hour ago, he was indeed not a match for the Red Ghost Pirates. At that time, he was still an ordinary social animal on earth, staying up late and working overtime every day, and his body was so weak that even a gust of wind could blow him down. But now, he has traveled. And awakened the Golden Fingers hundredfold amplification system. As long as he encounters a strong enemy, he will immediately gain reinforcement equivalent to a hundred times the strength of this strong enemy. For example, when encountering an enemy with a combat power of five, Bai Shao will instantly gain five hundred, five times one hundred, strength enhancements and corresponding combat experience. Now, Bai Zhao's power is a hundred times stronger than the captain of the Red Ghost Pirates. A hundredfold strengthening is a qualitative change. Solving a group of pirates with a maximum bounty of only three million Pele is completely effortless. Bai Zhao even had to restrain his strength to avoid breaking the person. Breaking in the physical sense. The Red Ghost Pirate's bounty for all members adds up to 4 million bailey, but Bai Xiao suddenly turned back and smiled as he looked towards the cabin exit. A young girl with a graceful figure was sneaking up the deck, carrying a packed bag on her back. 
From the opening of the big bag, several strands of gold chains and jewelry can be seen exposed. Obviously, this is the property of the Red Ghost Pirates. Uh, that. Discovered by Bai Xiao, the girl's body and expression stiffened. She thought the timing was right to quietly take away the property of the Red Ghost Pirates. She could see the terror of this man clearly in the cabin. Twenty-four members of the Red Ghost Pirate Squad rushed forward and were knocked down by Bai Xiao like a fly. The strongest captain, Red Ghost, was casually photographed by this man, causing his chest to collapse and he lost his breath. Such terrifying power has only been seen by senior members of the Dragon Pirates. Me, that. Nami's eyes rolled as thoughts flashed through her mind. You only have a chance to say one sentence, it's best if you can really persuade me, Bai Xiao said with a smile. He has read the manga of One Piece and naturally understands the identity of the girl in front of him. Nami, nicknamed Little Thief Cat. Due to the occupation of his hometown by the Dragon Pirates, he had to go out to collect funds and steal the treasures of various pirate groups in order to gather 100 million belly and redeem his hometown of Kakexia village. However, this 100 million bailey is a scam. The dragon pirates had no intention of letting go of the golden egg in Kakexia village. Bai Xiao has loved her since her past life. Not only her, but also other outstanding female characters in the original work are all targets of Bai Xiao. Since we have traveled, of course we need to open a big harem. Cough, I. Nami felt the man in front of her not being easy to fool and racked her brains to think. I haven't finished speaking yet. A dense sound of footsteps came from the dock. Bai Xiao turned his head and saw a group of security guards wearing brown uniforms, carrying Changsui firearms, running over, led by a middle-aged man with a weathered face. Your Excellency. The middle-aged man stopped ten meters away from the white sky and asked in surprise. Did your excellency solve the Red Ghost Pirates group? Bai Xiao hasn't spoken yet. In the rear, the thief cat Nami's eyes lit up and she couldn't wait to respond loudly, that's right. It was my big brother who did it. My big brother is the most outstanding and righteous bounty hunter in the East China Sea. The leader of the pirate group, Red Ghost, was slapped to death by my older brother. In front of my big brother, the others were even weaker like chicks, instantly knocked down. Nami shouted while running to Bai Zhao's side, showing a proud expression. Put on the aura that I am with this big brother. Hissed the security team took a deep breath and looked at Bai Xiao in shock. Is it really fake? That's the Red Ghost Pirates team that gives the Navy a headache. When did the East China Sea have such an extra bounty hunter? The civilians around whispered in surprise. Thank you for your help. You have spared this small town from pirate attacks. The middle-aged man's expression became respectful and looked at Nami, asking, may I ask if there is anything we can do to help? He subconsciously regarded Nami as the spokesperson for Bai Xiao. After all, the strong are all proud. Some boring trivial matters are naturally handled by the horses around them. Of course it is. Nami's face lit up with joy, which was exactly her goal, using the atmosphere to align herself with this man. As long as the man doesn't immediately take action against her, there will be more opportunities to escape later. Pop. But as soon as Nami spoke, a big hand patted her shoulder. At the same time, a faint voice came from beside. A sentence has passed, unfortunately, you were unable to persuade me. I. Nami's expression instantly panicked. The people on the dock also noticed that the situation was not right. Qin Ming outing and happy reading. Charge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge, activity period. April 4th to April 6th. Chapter 2. Enjoying my spoils of war. You are listening at novelfull.audio. This little girl. She's not with this little brother. Are you also a member of the Red Ghost Pirates group? The members of the security team became vigilant and grabbed their firearms tightly. 
Although she is a girl, as long as she gets involved with pirates, she is definitely not a good person. I'm not. Nami quickly shook her head. That's right, she's not. Bai Xiao lightly placed one hand on her shoulder and explained to the crowd with a smile, she's just my trophy. Hey. Nami was shocked and pale, feeling her hand resting on her shoulder tightly against her skin. She suddenly turned pale. Various indescribable plots and scenes come to mind. At sea, the fate of prisoners can be very tragic. Especially beautiful female prisoners will be treated like this and become playthings. No, I. Nami's face turned pale with fear and she shook her head desperately. However, the palm on her shoulder tightened slightly, causing her to petrify and not dare to move. Just now, this man used this hand to break the arm of a pirate. She couldn't imagine what her fragile shoulders would look like in Bai Zhao's hands. I see, this is your game, young man. The middle-aged police captain nodded clearly upon seeing this. On the sea, the victor should enjoy the spoils of war. If the Red Ghost pirates are defeated, then everything about them will be owned by Bai Xiao. This is a law recognized by the vast majority of countries. The spoils of war. That's great, men should go out to sea. That's what you deserve. A group of security guards relaxed and showed a man's smile. Nami felt like she was falling into an ice cave. Just emerged from the tiger's mouth and then entered the wolf's den. Not good. Her life has encountered the greatest danger. What should we do? Nami is still crazily thinking. Bai Xiao had already embraced her slender waist and jumped off the dock from the ship. At a distance of 30 meters, one leaps to reach. For today's Bai Xiao, this distance is no different from 30 centimeters. But the others on the dock were extremely surprised to see it. They can't make a leap of 30 meters. Especially when carrying one person. Could you please help me exchange the item for cash? I know the rules, and a 70% loss is acceptable. Bai Xiao took the treasure from Nami's back and handed it to the middle-aged security captain. Jewelry, necklaces, rings, and other handicrafts are difficult to redeem. If you want to make a quick move, you have to discount. If you want to get the original price, you can only wait for a large auction, but Bai Xiao is too lazy to wait and cashes in directly. Hey! Hey! Nami's face was full of unwillingness. What a treasure she finally searched for. Hmm. But with a light and ethereal glance from Bai Xiao, Nami was so scared that she withdrew her hand and lowered her head. Leave it to me. The middle-aged man solemnly took the backpack and took the initiative to ask, I can also help exchange the bounty from the Red Ghost Pirates. That's troublesome, Bai Xiao nodded with a smile. It's just a small matter, the middle-aged man nodded and smiled. You helped the town avoid a pirate disaster. We need to thank you. It would be great if you could help, Bai Xiao smiled politely. The two naturally walked towards the town. On the dock. Nami's face was full of unwillingness, and she turned her eyes to look around, hoping to take the opportunity to leave. Stop. The surrounding security personnel, however, gathered around with a cold face. Where do you want to go? Follow up obediently. Don't be disrespectful. Aiming the muskets at Nami. They dare not let the spoils of the town's benefactors run away. Dot. Nami twitched her lips, thinking to curse at her mother. But facing the loaded firearms, she could only lower her head, humbly raise her hands, and keep up with Bai Xiao in front. Damn it. Don't give me a chance. Otherwise Nami was pointed at by more than ten muskets, and her silver teeth were about to bite. Town center. In a hotel room of the highest standard. After Bai Xiao entered, he picked up the fruits on the table as if returning home, and sat on a chair leisurely eating them. Nami was pointed at by a gun and followed the room. Bang! As the door closed, a man and a woman were alone in a room. Nami twisted her hands anxiously, 
her expression full of panic. I won't really want to she dare not think about the future. Although she went out to sea to live at a young age, she has always used her intelligence and cleverness to successfully escape and never fell into a desperate situation. But now, past tricks seem useless. What should we do? Nami crisis. What are you still doing here? Bai Xiao looked back with confusion as he ate the fruit. If you don't go take a shower now, I'm not willing to eat until now. Shit. Nami's face stiffened even more as the man seemed determined to take care of her. You've already gone to sea, so you should have been mentally prepared for it, right? Bai Xiao looked at her jokingly and smiled, isn't it normal to be defeated, caught, and then do all kinds of things? Nami's face turned pale upon hearing this. That's right, life in the ocean is so cruel. Once lost, one will lose autonomy and their body will be dominated from head to toe by others. But although I am aware of such things, how can I not feel fear when it truly falls on myself? Dong dong dong, at this moment, there was a sudden knock on the door. Go open the door, Bai Xiao said lightly. Nami hesitated for a moment and timidly walked over to open the door. It's impolite. A servant walked in with his head down, without looking at Nami, and walked straight towards Bai Xiao, holding a box in his hands to open. Our boss has heard of your feet and has specially sent you a brand new set of tools to help you enjoy it. The attendant finished speaking with a meaningful smile. Bai Xiao naturally understood this smile. The so dot called utensils are probably also. He 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 he. You have a heart, please convey my gratitude, Bai Xiao nodded. Yes. The attendant bowed and said, then I won't disturb you. After speaking, the attendant left the room. Bang dang. The door gently closed. Papa. Bai Xiao opened the box and looked in amazement at the dazzling array of utensils inside, including various styles, shapes, and materials. Almost covering the entire body of the human body. Dot. Nami couldn't help but step back, her face turning pale. Bai Xiao didn't care about her. He lazily stepped forward to pick her up and walked into the bathroom. Don't touch me. Help. Help. A slight commotion spread outside the room. The waiters waiting in the distant hallway all showed honey smiles. The struggle of spoils of war is also a pleasure for those who enjoy it. When many nobles or big businessmen come to live, their cries are even louder, and some even the nobles themselves are shouting, even louder than the outside streets. What haven't the waiters seen before? Qingming outing and happy reading. Charge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge, activity period. April 4th to April 6th. Chapter 3 I can help you solve the Dragon Pirates. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Bathroom. Smoke enveloped. The ground was covered in fragments of clothes. Bai Xiao looked down from above. In the corner, a delicate and graceful girl curled up with her hands tightly in front of her. You. Don't mess around. Nami's voice trembled, revealing the tattoo on her left arm and trembling as she spoke. I'm a member of the Dragon Pirates. If you dare to touch me, Captain Dragon will definitely not let you go. I am an important navigator of the Dragon Pirates. Her threat is powerless. Even after threatening, I felt sadness in my heart first. Surprisingly descend to using the name of an enemy to fight for opportunities for oneself. Damn it, even though I hate the dragon pirates the most. The dragon pirates. Bai Xiao looked at her timid expression and smiled indifferently, saying. Even if they set off from Kakexia village to here, it would take at least a week. One week is enough for me to have three connections, you don't know how many times. Nami was stunned for a moment, then her face turned pale and terrified. Don't do it. I have a lot of money and I know many places where pirates hide their treasures. Leave me alone, I can give it to you. Nami looked at Bai Xiao with hopeful eyes. 
But what made her despair was that Bai Xiao just smiled and shook his head. Do you think that with my strength, I will still lack money? Namaton was in despair and her face turned ashen. Don't think about it, what I'm interested in is you, Bai Xiao walked over and forcefully pulled her up, standing under the shower head and washing herself. After a long time. The sun has set. Nami sat at the head of the bed with a lifeless expression, as if all hope in life had been lost. Ha Bai Xiao hugged her smooth shoulder with one hand and held a cigarette with the other. Afterwards, smoke and compete with immortals. Don't be so sad, looking for the good, the first time you met someone as skilled as me, there wasn't any pain, did you? Bai Xiao comforted her. Nami was speechless, with a cold smile on her lips. And, I can give you what you want, Bai Xiao squinted his eyes and looked eerie in the smoke. I can help you deal with the dragon pirates. Nami didn't take it seriously. Until I heard the name of the dragon pirates, I suddenly straightened my waist. The originally soft body was instantly filled with strength. What does it mean? she asked in disbelief. You are clearly tattooed with the dragon group's tattoos, but you don't have the smell of a pirate on your body. You must have some insider information, Bai Xiao said lightly. Familiar people can tell at a glance. Although he didn't notice it at all, he just used the original plot to force it. But it doesn't prevent Bai Xiao from fooling her at this moment. The smell of pirates. Nami frowned and asked, what does that mean? It's just the smell of blood and violence, there's not even a trace of it on you, Bai Xiao said slowly as he looked at her. Dot. Nami couldn't help but pause. Indeed, as Bai Xiao said, she doesn't have the smell of a pirate. Because from the beginning, I didn't really want to join the dragon pirates. After joining, I never accepted it and instead became even more disgusted. When going out to sea, there was no burning, killing or looting, only stealing the treasure of the pirates. I can help you deal with the dragon pirates, Bai Xiao continued. Now that I'm just saying this, what reaction do you want me to have? Nami listened, but sneered, do you want me to be grateful? Or do you want me to kneel on the ground in tears and beg for your help? In her gaze towards Bai Xiao, the words, scum, were clearly written. Don't you want to? Bai Xiao didn't take it seriously and asked with a smile. Nami fell silent. Of course she wants it. She has fantasized countless times whether there will be a hero falling from the sky, solving the problem of being attacked by the dragon pirates and saving the village of Kakexia. I just didn't expect that it wasn't the hero who descended from the sky, but the villain who forcibly seized her. What do you want? Nami remained silent for a long time, taking a deep breath and asking. You, Bai Xiao said concisely. Nami's eyes flickered with struggle, eventually turning into determination. She said expressionlessly, okay. As long as you can solve the dragon pirates, I'll be yours. She has already gained consciousness. Even if you sacrifice your own life, you must save the village of Kakexia. As for the 100 million Bailey agreed upon with the dragon pirates. Nami is not a naive fool either, it's just a scam. Just, in moments of despair. Even a straw would struggle to grip it tightly. But how can I believe that you can really solve the dragon pirates? Nami's expression was cold, and her legs instinctively overlapped. Hiss, but suddenly he pulled on the wound, gritting his teeth in pain. The newly established aura instantly dissipated into nothingness. If you had cooperated a little earlier, it wouldn't hurt so much now, Bai Xiao shook his head, got out of bed, opened the box, and took out the ointment inside. Come on, I'll give you some medicine. Cooperate with you. Nami cursed loudly in her heart, wanting to punch the man in front of her to death. Let me see, how are you doing? Bai Xiao said and went to pull on the blanket. Nami hesitated for a moment and released the sheets. Is it all like this, still covering up my fart? She lay down in despair, looking at the ceiling like a corpse, and then asked, Hey, I'm asking why you solved the dragon pirates. 
That's a great pirate with a bounty of twenty million bailey. Don't you believe it? Bai Shao asked while applying the medicine. Oh, how can you believe someone with empty mouth and white teeth? That's right, then I'll show you a hand. Bai Shao finished taking the medicine and walked to the wall on the side, taking down the pistol on top. Nami's heart tightened upon seeing this. I thought Bai Shao would become angry and embarrassed, or just give up and try to solve her. Don't be nervous. Bai Shao chuckled lightly, took out the bullet from the drawer, and loaded it. Then, he faced Nami with the muzzle facing his abdomen. You. Nami widened her eyes in surprise, not understanding what Bai Shao meant. Bang! Bai Shao shot directly into his abdomen. With a loud sound, a cluster of flames suddenly appeared, and the just-filled bullet hit Bai Zhao's six abdominal muscles in the stomach at a speed that surpassed human vision. You're crazy! Nami yelled in terror, her face turning pale. Qin Ming outing and happy reading. Charge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge, activity period. April 4th to April 6th. Chapter 4 This world is more precious than you imagine. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Don't worry, take a closer look. Bai Shao, however, looked as if nothing had happened, pointing lightly at the wound on his abdomen. Nami was uncertain and her gaze fell on Bai Zhao's abdomen. At the wound of the gunshot, a bullet was squeezed and deformed, imprinted on the skin, emitting a faint smoke. Besides, there are no other traces. No wounds, no bleeding. The bullet ran out of kinetic energy without even penetrating the skin. How could it be? Nami exclaimed in shock. This world is much more exciting than you imagine, Bai Shao said meaningfully, throwing his pistol over. People who are as strong as monsters are grabbing a bunch in the great waterway. Nami caught the gun in a daze. She was extremely surprised by Bai Zhao's words. A guy like a dragon, in her opinion, is already terrifyingly strong and not something that human beings can resist. But Bai Zhao's shot in the stomach directly refreshed her three senses. Can humans actually pick up bullets with their bodies? This is too abnormal, isn't it? Nami lowered her head to inspect the pistol, even dismantling its parts. She had to admit that the gun was not fake. The shooting just now was real. Bai Shao. Can really pick up bullets with his own body. Devil's fruit. Nami ignored the pain and jumped out of bed, wearing a bedsheet to ask after her. No, it's just a simple physique. Bai Shao walked into the bathroom to wash up and answered calmly, the human physique is so powerful that it can shatter mountains and shatter the earth. How could it be? Nami couldn't believe it. You follow me, you'll see slowly, Bai Shao turned around and smiled at her. Nami frowned, somewhat believing, but not believing. Bai Zhao's description shattered her previous understanding. Give an inappropriate example, such as the dragon pirates. Bai Shao looked at her and said, Fishmans are naturally stronger than humans and can survive on land and sea at the same time. Why is the world hegemon not fishmans but humans? Nami was stunned and opened her mouth in surprise. Yes. Why did humans still establish a world government and navy when the fish man was so powerful? That's all for the chat. I need to take a shower now. Bai Shao stood by the bathroom door, admiring Nami up and down, and asked, or do you want to come with me? Now Nami is only 16 or 17 years old, with playful and energetic short hair. There is not yet a mature and tall period of long hair in the future, but the green and astringent period also has a unique flavor. Bang! Nami's face instantly turned cold and she closed the bathroom door. Don't even think about it. A few days later. Nami gritted her teeth and walked out of the room, finally breaking free from someone's clutches. She couldn't imagine that one day she would be alone in a room with a man, staying for three days and three nights without going out. Although the hotel waiters are very polite, they all bow their heads politely. 
but Nami was still so noisy that she wanted to die. Well, before you die, chop by Xiao to death. After spending three days and nights together, they have already established a deep and intimate relationship, and their names are naturally clear. Mr. Bai Xiao, this is the money exchanged for jewelry and gold chains, as well as the bounty from the Red Ghost Pirates. The middle-aged security captain warmly shook Bai Xiao's hand. There are a total of ten million baileys, please count them. No need, I believe in the captain's credibility. Bai Xiao smiled and took it. A single sheet has a face value of ten thousand. Ten million bailey is just a thousand sheets of paper. Bai Xiao took it and handed it directly to his back. For me. As soon as Nami walked out of the hotel, she saw a stack of bailey handed to her and couldn't help but brighten her eyes. Don't think too much, you're just a little brother with a bag, Bai Xiao turned around and patted her shoulder, continuing to chat with the police captain. While chatting, walk towards the dock. Shu. Nami pursed her lips and reluctantly collected her money to keep up. On the way. The residents warmly waved and greeted Bai Xiao when they saw him. Thank you, Mr. Bai Xiao. Solving the Red Ghost Pirates group alone, you're amazing. Mr. Bai Xiao, take your time. Mr. Bai Xiao, come on, go out to sea and kill more pirate groups. Nami was surprised by the enthusiasm of the residents. In the Dragon Pirates, she could only see faces of fear, disgust, and hatred. Seeing this, Bai Xiao sighed in his heart. The declaration before the death of Pirate King Gerd D. Roger, while igniting the flames of freedom, triggered the era of the Great Pirates and brought disaster to countless civilians. So much so that, as an outsider, he only solved the pirate group and received hero treatment. If it were me, it would definitely make people smile more, Bai Xiao whispered. What are you saying? Nami didn't hear clearly from behind and asked in confusion. It's nothing, Bai Xiao casually said. There is no need to promote something that is invincible to oneself everywhere. Judging from his cheat, hundredfold amplification system, as long as we move towards the heavenly dragon man holy land, we may not have seen IMM yet, and the world will be invincible. At that time, flipping hands will bring clouds and covering hands will bring rain. Build another world government and navy, it's easy. But before being truly invincible, one still needs to keep a low profile. It's mysterious, Nami muttered, bowing her head and continuing to count the money. Bai Xiao doesn't care about money, she can't ignore it. This is money. Bai Xiao was escorted by the security captain all the way to the ship of the Red Ghost Pirates. This ship is also the spoils of war for Bai Xiao. During his three days at the hotel, the security captain, together with the people in the town, cleaned the inside and outside of the pirate ship three times and repaired the exterior. The same ship, now in front of Bai Xiao, is completely a small merchant ship. There is no trace of the pirate ship. Goodbye, Mr. Bai Xiao. The security team waved goodbye at the dock. Bai Xiao waved his hand to them and set sail on a boat. The boatman, of course, is Miss Nami. Really, how could anyone let a girl sail and not do anything outside? Nami complained and took the helm. Bai Xiao turned a deaf ear. By the way, the money given by the captain is full, Nami suddenly thought of something and quickly said, he didn't lose at 70% of the market price. This way. Bai Xiao was stunned for a moment and nodded. That's 30%. There's no need to think it was made up by the security captain. 30% of Bailey's 6 million, but 1.8 million. Red Ghost Pirates bounty 4 million, this is not a small amount. If it were me, I wouldn't be willing, Nami sighed. You're quite self-aware, Bai Zhao's face showed surprise. Get lost. Amidst the noise, the ship sailed towards the village of Kokosia. Kneel down and beg for the flowers of the big shots. Evaluation ticket. Qingming outing and happy reading. Charge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge, activity period. April 4th to April 6th. 
Chapter 5 A Hundredfold Increase Two-Tone Domineering May 10th You are listening at NovelFull.audio Seven days later The merchant ship of Baishao slowly sailed to the village of Kakexia and stopped at the shore. Hey, are you really confident in dealing with the dragon pirates? Nami couldn't help but worry. If the resistance fails, Kakexia village will face an even more severe situation. Although it is now so severe that it is almost impossible to survive. You've asked this question a hundred times. Bai Xiao dug out his ear and jumped over the bow of the boat to the shore. I have a hundred percent confidence in dealing with the dragon. The power of a fishman is only ten times that of an ordinary person. But his Bai Xiao power is a hundred times that of an ordinary person. Just like a young ant, strong enough to catch bullets, even if she is directly fired by a machine gun, she will only scratch her skin and not even damage her muscle layer. Who is his opponent, the group of dragon pirates who don't even know how to be domineering? Ding Dong just as Bai Xiao stood on the shore, the sound of the system suddenly rang in his mind. Detected a strong enemy within one kilometer range. The dragon. Starting with a hundredfold increase by Shao. You have gained a hundred times stronger stamina you have awakened the dominance of armed colors you have awakened the domineering aura of seeing and hearing by Shao. System buddy, what's wrong with you? Am I weaker than the dragon? Can this also trigger reinforcement? System, you'd better explain it to me. Bai Xiao asked in his heart, also, wasn't it within a 500 meter range last time? Why did it become 1 kilometer this time? Ding dong, system self. Test in progress. After self. Examination, it was confirmed that the evil dragon was stronger than the previous enemy, the red ghost, the increase is correct. In addition, due to the improvement of the dominant power, the detection range of the system will also increase. Strong enemy, is this kind of explanation. Bai Xiao twitched the corners of his mouth. But immediately, I was surprised by the surging power inside my body. I feel like there is a powerful force like a shell in my muscles. Bai Xiao couldn't help but clench his fist and smile at the corner of his mouth. With my dual color dominance, isn't it sweeping across the East China Sea, where no one even knows about dominance? Bai Xiao, you. On the boat, Nami showed an expression of surprise and uncertainty. She had a feeling that just now, Bai Xiao seemed to have become much stronger. It seems like in an instant, from a jackal to a fierce Tyrannosaurus, its strength has increased dozens or even hundreds of times. Is it an illusion? Nami frowned, doubting her feelings. At the same time, outside the village of Kakexia, there is a group of shore villas dedicated to the dragon pirates. Although fish people can live on land, they may feel uncomfortable if they do not touch water for a long time. Therefore, the gathering place was built on the shore. Boss, Nami is back. A little brother responsible for watching the wind, holding a telescope and shouting loudly. She also brought back a ship. Shua. The telescope was immediately taken away by other fishermen, who took turns looking over. Wow, what a big ship! How impressive! Which pirate group's ship was stolen this time? Nami really has the ability. Huh, we'll accept this ship, dragon pirate ship. A group of mermaids and pirates laughed and frolicked. Not far away. The leader dragon lay on a sun chair, curling his lips contentedly and saying, work hard to make money, Nami. When you gather 100 million baileys, you will find that there is even deeper despair waiting for you. Ha ha ha. Let go of Kakexia village. Just kidding. How could he possibly let go of this hen laying golden eggs? And using the people of Kakexia village to blackmail, Nami can obediently draw nautical charts and contribute her talent as a navigator to the dragon pirates. Not good, boss. Nami brought back a human male. Suddenly, a subordinate reported. Hmm. The dragon's smile disappeared and he sat up. Give me the telescope. 
my subordinates immediately handed over the telescope. The evil dragon raised his binoculars and saw a young man with black hair standing on the shore, laughing and talking to Nami. Nami's face was filled with annoyance and impatience. Not a navy, not a pirate, not like a bounty hunter. Cut. The evil dragon threw the telescope back to his men and sneered, he's probably a fool who's been entangled with Nami. Go ahead and kill him and feed him to the fish. Let's go. Nami lowered her anchor and got off the boat, walking to the side of Bai Shao. Hmm. Bai Shao nodded and walked away. The two of them advanced towards the village of Kokoja ahead. I took a few steps. Suddenly, a group of villagers ran out and waved at Bai Shao and Nami, led by a man in a brown police uniform. It's not good, Nami. Nami, quickly take your friend to hide, the members of the Dragon Pirates group are here. Yeah, there are several mermaids coming towards you. I'm here for you. Upon hearing the advice of the villagers, Nami felt a bit flustered. But soon, she thought of Bai Shao next to her and her expression immediately calmed down. It's okay, just come. Nami waved her hand confidently and said, this is the bounty hunter I invited. He can solve the dragon pirates. Everyone immediately looked at Bai Shao next to them. Hello, Bai Shao greeted them with a smile. But the villagers frowned one after another. Especially Ah Jian, his expression was filled with doubt and hesitation. He watched Nami grow up and knew that the reason why Nami joined the dragon pirates was to protect the village of Kokoja. Over the years, the dragon pirates have not yet set sail for work. But, young man, are you confident in dealing with the dragon pirates? Aegean couldn't help but ask. It's not that he doesn't believe in Nami, but that Bai Zhao's appearance is too human and harmless. It looks like an ordinary young person in a big city. I can't find any strong aura all over my body. Yeah, the dragon is the highest bounty pirate in the entire East China Sea. The bounty hunters who came in the past have all died. Little brother, if you don't have full confidence, it's better not to go. Yeah, life is more important. The villagers are persuading one after another. They don't think Bai Shao can solve the dragon pirates. Since I dare to come, of course I am confident, Bai Shao just smiled and said, and besides, Nami is not a fool. If I don't have the strength, how dare she invite me? When these words were spoken, Aegean and others were stunned. That's indeed the truth. However, it is difficult to believe Bai Zhao's weak appearance. Qingming outing and happy reading. Charge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge, activity period. April 4th to April 6th. Chapter 6 Dragon There are no strong people in the East China Sea, I. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. What dare you not? Just as I was thinking, the group of fish men sent by the dragon had already arrived. Led by a light grey-skinned fish man, he had sharp fins on the elbow joints of both arms, resembling two blades growing on his arms. The fisherman walked over and spoke coldly, Nami, it seems like you have some inappropriate thoughts. Other fish people also showed a grim smile. Krubi. Nami said expressionlessly, today is your deadline. Deadline. The fish man Krubi looked at Bai Shao a few times and said disdainfully, your confidence is this little weak chicken. It really makes me want to laugh. You are such a smart child, and you have been deceived at times. But it's okay, I'll slaughter him now and feed him to the fish. Not only him, but also the people you know in the village, I will kill them all. Bang! Before he could finish speaking, a fist slammed into his head. Krubi flew backwards and collided with a small hill over thirty meters away. And Bai Zhao's figure appeared at Krubi's position. What? The fish people around were shocked and their originally scattered expressions disappeared. They turned their heads in disbelief and looked thirty meters away. On the hillside, Krubi's entire body was embedded in the soil, his facial features disappeared, 
his face sank inward, and a large amount of blood flowed out. Krubi Cadre. Died. How could it be? Cadres are powerful individuals with a reward of 9 million yuan. No, impossible. How could humans, as a lower race, defeat the fish man? I don't believe it. The group of mermaids looked horrified, as if a sky had collapsed, unable to accept the fact that Krubi had been killed by Bai Shao. Rear. Ah Jian and other villagers couldn't believe it and were stunned. Only one move to solve Krubi. His speed is so fast. Yeah, I didn't see it clearly at all. This young man is so strong, maybe he can really solve the dragon pirates group. The villagers quickly became excited. Aegean's heart was also fluctuating, and he whispered to Nami, Nami, where did you hire such a talented person? The commission must be very high, right? Commission. Nami fell silent for a moment, then showed a bright smile and said lightly, he is a friend I know and has a strong sense of justice. After hearing about the situation in Kakexia village, he took the initiative to help me solve the dragon pirates. Her experience at sea has enabled her to master almost perfect acting skills. When saying these words, both the tone and expression were flawless. Is that right? Ah Jian was indeed deceived, his expression overjoyed, and he said, that's great. The hard times in Kakexia village have finally come to an end. Yeah. Nami nodded and responded with a bright smile. But behind this smile lies an indescribable bitterness. Sacrificing oneself to save everyone in the village of Kokoja is completely worth it. Let me guard everyone's happiness. Nami secretly made up her mind. Ahead. After punching Krubi, Bai Shao didn't even look and walked straight towards the remaining fish man. Damn it! A fisherman roared and rushed forward. Bang! Bai Shao casually swung a punch and hit him in the abdomen. In the eyes of others, this punch was so fast that the naked eye could not catch it, only a flickering shadow could be seen. In the next moment, the fish man who pounced on it flew backwards. Bang! 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 Bai Shao continued to move forward, punching as fast as lightning, pulling out the remnants of the path. One by one, the fish people had no time to react and were knocked out like sandbags, flying around everywhere. Don't, don't come over. The last three mermaids were scared out of their wits and turned to run away. Shua! But Bai Zhao's figure flashed, as if splitting into three, and appeared on the backs of the three at the same time, punching them. No advanced skills, pure physical pressure. The increase in strength and speed of Bai Shao, which is a hundred times greater than that of an ordinary person and a hundred times greater than that of a dragon, has reached an incredible level. Punching casually is an irresistible thunderous blow to this group of fish people. Bang bang! The three mermaids were suddenly knocked away, hitting a distant stone and smashing into a puddle of flesh and blood. Resolve. Bai Shao put down his arm, his expression relaxed, and there was not even a drop of sweat on his forehead. For him, even warming up doesn't count. Rear. Aegean and the other villagers were so shocked that their eyes were about to burst out. So strong. In the blink of an eye, so many fishmen were solved. Crook, this senior cadre, has also been knocked down. Great, there's help in Kakexia village. Nami's gaze towards Bai Shao was also full of brilliance. She bet right. This bastard can really solve the dragon pirates. Hmm. Suddenly, Bai Shao seemed to turn his head and look in a certain direction. In the perception of seeing, hearing, and seeing, there was a strong gaze cast with an extremely angry emotion. Hello. Bai Shao smiled and nodded, greeting this gaze. More than 800 meters away. The evil dragon looked into the telescope and turned to greet Bai Shao, with a chill rising from his back. Did he find me? The dragon put down its telescope in disbelief. He originally wanted to have some fun and see how the man brought back by Nami was slaughtered and fed to the fish. 
I didn't expect to see the fish being fed, but instead saw my own subordinates being slaughtered by that man. Dragon boss, what should we do now? A fishman next to him asked anxiously. Other fish people also used other telescopes to see by Shao solve their companions. Brother Kruby, he is the strongest among us besides you. Krul has lost more than Big Brother, and we are no longer opponents. Yeah, boss, do you want to call the cannon? Are you going to the sea to be with him? The subordinates are worried. Since arriving in the East China Sea, they have encountered humans who can defeat them for the first time. This made them unable to help but recall the days when the Sun Pirates were chased by the Navy and anxious. Shut up. The dragon roared and stood up with a cold and fierce expression. No matter how strong the people in the East China Sea are, they won't be any stronger. I'll do it myself. After speaking, the dragon strode towards the shore. All the fish people along the way were afraid to give way. The boss is angry. They dare not stop, they can only timidly follow behind. Qingming outing and happy reading. Charge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge, activity period. April 4th to April 6th. Chapter 7 A Bounty of 20 Million Yuan. Crush. 7 tenths. You are listening at novelfull.audio. On the other side, Bai Shao also withdrew his gaze. In the perception of seeing and hearing colors, that gaze disappeared. Let's go to the village, Bai Shao. Nami walked up with a serious expression. Although Kruby is the second strongest fish man in the Dragon Pirates, there is a huge gap compared to the first strongest dragon. The reward for the dragon is as high as 20 million belly, which is the highest in the entire East China Sea. And Kruby only has 9 million baileys. Nami has seen too many unsuccessful bounty hunters. Although Bai Shao is very strong, she is still cautious. The shadow that the dragon has cast on her and the village of Kokoja is simply too great. That's right, the dragon is too strong. You can't be too careful, Aegean nodded in agreement with Nami's words. The other villagers were filled with blood and indignation, and rolled up their sleeves one after another. Let's go back to the village first, shout out everyone and fight together. The village hides our preserved weapons. Brother Bai Shao, although we are weak, we can still block other fish people for you. Faced with villagers who are united and want to help in battle. Bai Shao smiled and shook his head, no need. Why? Nami asked in confusion. Aegean and the villagers also showed puzzled expressions. Because they have already arrived, Bai Shao turned his head to look in the direction of the sea and raised his finger the evil dragon and the fish people of the pirate group. In his perception of sight, smell, and color. Forty-five breaths pierced through the seawater, flying like arrows. The leading aura was particularly strong. Strong, majestic, and ferocious. Like a fierce predator, full of evil energy. Are you here? Everyone was shocked and turned to look around. Wow! I saw dozens of waves exploding on the sea surface. Forty-five fish men jumped out of the water, jumped onto the shore, and cast fierce eyes at them. Not good. All members of the dragon pirates are out. Aegean broke out in a cold sweat. The villagers also became panicked. The fish man is too strong. Even with weapons, they still need three to five adult men to restrain an ordinary fisherman from a pirate group. I don't have any weapons at hand now, and I am at a disadvantage in terms of numbers. It's impossible to confront the dragon pirates. What should I do, Bai Shao? Nami became nervous and quickly asked. You go to the village, Bai Shao waved his hand lightly as he looked at a group of ferocious fish men. Just leave this to me. But. Nami couldn't help but frown. Bai Shao interrupted her directly and said, If you stay or something, it will only drag me down. Nami was stunned. She looked at Aegean and a few villagers, and had to admit that Bai Shao was right. 
If these people stay, they will only hinder by Shao. Sorry, I will immediately organize a team and come back with weapons. Nami took a deep breath, blushed, and leaned in to kiss by Zhao's cheek. Accompanied by this light kiss, there was also a deep sentence. Don't die, wait for me. After speaking, Nami turned around and waved her hand, leading Aegean and the villagers towards the direction of the village. In situ. Bai Xiao showed a surprised expression. The soft touch on his cheeks made his mood ripple. No. I can't beat the dragon, I'm just worried that I won't be able to take care of you or the villagers while fighting, which may cause you or the villagers to get hurt. Bai Xiao looked at Nami's departing figure and couldn't help but laugh. It seems to have accidentally opened Nami's heart. Humph. Just as I was thinking, a cold snort came from ahead. Bai Xiao calmed his mood and turned his head to see the dragon grinning its sharp sharp teeth with a sarcastic smile. Nami has also grown up and started looking for men, he said other fish people also showed a mocking smile, looking at Bai Xiao with mocking eyes. Kid, you were deceived by Nami to come and die, right? Our dragon boss is the biggest pirate with the highest bounty in the entire East China Sea. How dare you challenge our dragon pirates team alone? Hehe, he, maybe he's a guy willing to sacrifice himself for love. Isn't this kind of fool often seen in novels? The fish people are full of confidence in their leader, the dragon. The leader of the evil dragon has been a strong follower of Captain Tiger, even killing the heavenly dragon people. In the great waterway, no one dares to provoke. Not to mention in this fragile East China Sea. In the East China Sea, there is no one who can harm the dragon leader. Listen up, kid, you're destined to die here today, the evil dragon chuckled and pointed his finger at Bai Shao. Is that right? Bai Shao also laughed and shrugged. When? The dragon's words had not yet been spoken. Shua. The white sky suddenly turned into a lingering shadow. The next moment. He appeared in front of the dragon, raised his hand and grabbed its finger, fiercely breaking it. Crack. Accompanied by a crisp sound, the dragon's fingers flipped outward ninety degrees, almost pressing against the back of their hand. The piercing pain instantly surged in the dragon's nerves. But he ignored it and just looked at Bai Shao in front of him in shock, afraid to say, so fast. This pain is nothing to a pirate who has experienced the great battle of the seaway. And with the recovery power of the fish man, it can quickly recover. Shua, the evil dragon not only ignored the broken finger, but also opened its big mouth and fiercely bit towards Bai Shao. He had two rows of sharp sharp teeth in his mouth, flashing with a cold light, like daggers embedded in his teeth, full of sharpness. This is also his strongest attack. Teeth are the strongest and sharpest part of his body. Is that all? But Bai Shao gently tilted his head and easily dodged. Crack. Sharp teeth bit into the void. Damn it. The evil dragon's eyes were full of fierce light, and it severed its finger palm. It grabbed Bai Zhao's arm in the opposite direction, clenched its fist with the other hand, and struck fiercely. Bai Shao also intercepted with the other hand. Both of them shot very fast, and their arms waved the remnants of a fierce collision in mid-air. Bang bang bang. In the blink of an eye, there were dozens of collisions. Pop. The sleeves of the two of them burst out coincidentally, shattered by the force of the confrontation. How could this be? The fish man behind was shocked to see it. Dragon boss, drew with him. Impossible, how could human power be comparable to that of a fish man? That's right, the dragon boss must not have taken it seriously yet. I'll help you, boss. A fisherman rushed over as if wanting to help. Get lost. Asterisk 2 by Xiao and the evil dragon both shouted loudly, stopped attacking each other, and threw a backhand punch. The fish man who came running had not yet stabilized when he was hit by two fists and hit the shore reef several meters away like a shell. Bang! His entire body was shattered and turned into a puddle of rotten meat. 
Qingming outing and happy reading. Charge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge, activity period. April 4th to April 6th. Is this not enough, dragon? Dot. You are listening at novelfull.audio. The other fish people shuddered at the sight. The dragon boss is not willing for them to intervene. However, they didn't notice that in the get lost sentence just now, Bai Xiao and the evil dragon had completely different tones. One is disdain, and the other is anger. Bai Xiao is naturally the former. Do fish people who don't even have a million dollar bounty dare to come up and challenge porcelain? The evil dragon was shocked and angry. He was surprised by Bai Zhao's strength and speed, which could not compete with him. This stimulated his nerves. At this moment, when my subordinates come to help, aren't they saying that he is weaker than this human? Bang 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 the two continued to fight, waving a remnant of their hands. The speed of punching has exceeded the visual limit of ordinary people, making it difficult to see clearly. Crack suddenly, a faint shattering sound mixed in the collision came. The dragon felt a piercing sensation in its hands. Impossible. He understood what was going on and a huge uproar arose in his heart. How could this guy's physique be stronger than mine? This subtle shattering sound was exactly the sound of his arm breaking. In a frontal collision, it turned out that his body couldn't support it at first. No, I'll lose if this continues. The evil dragon gritted its teeth and forcefully carried Bai Zhao's punch, kicking him with its foot. Bang asterisk two at the same time, two muffled noises were heard. The evil dragon was thrown out with a punch from Bai Xiao, and its fist landed on his chest, making a crisp sound. The thoracic vertebrae are broken. And his kick towards Bai Xiao was easily blocked by Bai Xiao with his other hand. What's going on? Bai Xiao raised the corner of his mouth with a teasing smile and asked, Isn't that enough, evil dragon? The evil dragon, with a pale face, retreated into a group of subordinates and picked up his usual weapon from the hands of several fish men responsible for carrying his weapons. A large saw blade called Zhanfeng. Shut up, you human. The other fish men rushed out one after another and picked up their weapons. Die for me. Just a lowly creature, I want to break your mouth. Watch me chop off your head. One by one, the mermaids, either holding knives or raising guns, aimed their weapons at Bai Xiao. Humph. The dragon rubbed its chest from behind, showing a sneer. This is the role of the younger brother. No matter how strong your strength is, facing enemies dozens of times stronger than yourself, you will still be defeated by consuming a lot of energy. The dragon is extremely clear about this. The recovery ability of the fish man is more than ten times that of humans. The dragon gently rubbed its chest and soon felt the sting dissipate. In just a little time, I can recover all the injuries, but humans don't have such talent, so I can get injured countless times. But if you get hurt by me once, it's the beginning of defeat. He smiled with a clear victory in hand. Ahead. The attacks of the fish people all fell on Bai Xiao. Choppers, muskets, hammers, spears Bai Xiao remained motionless without any evasive movements. Ding ding ding. These attacks were all blocked outside the skin of Bai Xiao, as if they had collided with an invisible layer of steel, splashing out large sparks. At the same time, a peculiar aura emanated from Bai Xiao's body. This. The evil dragon suddenly widened its eyes, looking horrified. This aura made him feel unfamiliar and familiar. Strangeness is because I haven't felt it for many years, and when I came to the weak East China Sea, I never felt this power again. Familiarity is because he personally experienced this power countless times in the Great Passage back then. Dominant. The evil dragon exclaimed in disbelief. Bang bang bang. In his breath, all the weapons that fell on Bai Zhao's body shattered and exploded. Game time is over, dragon. Bai Xiao raised his eyes and looked at the dragon with a faint smile. The other fish people were equally shocked. 
They couldn't believe that their weapons not only didn't harm Bai Shao, but were also shattered by the shock. Are you really a human, this guy? How could his body be so hard? No, he seems to have an invisible layer of armor on his body, what is that? I seem to have heard of this kind of power somewhere before. The fish people looked at the white sky with suspicion. Not all of them are from the sun pirates. In other words, not all fish people have traveled great waterways and know the power of dominance. And in the rear. The dragon turned pale and ran away. What a joke. How could anyone possibly wield the power of dominance in such a weak place like the East China Sea? Why do these people stay in the East China Sea instead of going to the Great Navigation Channel? The evil dragon was horrified and ran out for dozens of meters in an instant. He has seen monsters in the Great Waterway. So it is clear that I am definitely not a match for Bai Shao. Not all strong individuals have mastered dominance, but those who have mastered dominance must be strong. Because of its dominance, one must go through hard cultivation and difficult battles in order to awaken. At the same time, in the village of Kakexia, Nami has invited a strong bounty hunter and is currently fighting in the Dragon Pirates. As soon as Aegean entered the village, he let out a heart-shaking shout. Hear this sentence. The quiet village of Kakexia immediately became restless. Add me one. I'll come too. Finally, it's time to seek revenge against the dragon pirates. Men from all over pick up weapons and follow me. All the young adults have found their hidden weapons and held them tightly in their hands. Some of them are excited, some are angry, and some are afraid. But no one took a step back. Okay. Aegean was very pleased to see this, and he also pulled out his pistol and shouted. Everyone come with me. Oh. A group of young men were led by Aegean to set off. The women and children stayed at home, holding on to weapons such as kitchen knives and rolling pins. If the young people die, it will be their turn next. Clack. Nami found her foster mother Belmer's spear, loaded it with bullets, and ran out as well. Nami. What are you doing? Ijie Noki quickly ran out and grabbed Nami who was preparing to depart. I want to avenge Belmer. Nami turned around and said seriously to Nokigo. Eight years ago, her foster mother Bell died in front of her, and the culprit was the dragon pirates. Over the years, in order to protect the village, she had to work in the dragon pirates group, drawing nautical charts of various regions. Every day of working under the enemy's command was particularly torturous. Nami never stopped thinking of revenge for a moment. Take me with you. Nuachi Gao's heart was also filled with hatred. She turned around and flipped out Belmer's short gun, filled it with ammunition, and looked firmly at Nami, saying, I've been enduring it for a long time, Nami. Nami nodded vigorously and said, Okay. Begging for flowers. Seeking evaluation votes. Qingming outing and happy reading. Charge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge, activity period. April 4th to April 6th. Chapter 9. Completely eliminate the dragon pirates. September 10th. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Nami and her sister Noki quickly caught up with Aegean and others. On the way, they had a brief conversation. Is it called by Shao, right? Noki nodded high and remembered the name. Whether successful or not, he is our benefactor. I witnessed my foster mother's death with my own eyes back then, not only Nami, but also my sister Nokigo. Don't worry, it will definitely succeed, Nami said solemnly. He's very strong. Noki looked surprised. Very strong. Nami answered with utmost seriousness. Is that right? Noki was a bit dazed. The Dragon Pirates are the strongest pirate group in the East China Sea. Its leader, the Dragon, offers a reward of up to 20 million yuan and is said to be a great pirate returning from the Great Passage. 
the navy and bounty hunters dare not come to suppress. Who is this by Shao? How dare he challenge the dragon pirates? Noki Gao was very puzzled in her heart. She didn't believe much in what Nami said, Bai Shao is a bounty hunter with a strong sense of justice. This cruel world cannot accommodate pure good people. But at the moment of the battle, Noki Gao had no time to think and could only suppress the doubts in his heart. We're almost there. Aegean shouted in front, panting heavily. Upon hearing these words, others cheered up one after another. Keep going, everyone. You can't keep Bai Shao waiting for too long. Go up. Kill the dragon pirates. Oh, oh. Nokigo and Nami also participated in the shouting. In their view, although this bounty hunter named Bai Shao is strong, his two fists are difficult to match with four hands, making it difficult to gain benefits in front of a large number of fish men. They must help to contain other fish people and create a king-to-king -king situation. Bang just as I approached the shore, a muffled sound suddenly came. It's like the sound of watermelon being smashed open by a stick. Ha! Huh. Aegean and the villagers arrived just in time and were surprised to see a shocking scene. I saw a senior cadre named Xiaoba, fish man, like a chick, being held in the hand of a much smaller young man. The young man pinched Xiaoba's head with one hand and exerted force with five fingers. Don't. Let me go. Let me go. I will immediately leave Kokoja village and never come back. Bang. Bai Zhao's fingers closed and squeezed Xiao Ba's head out. Blood mixed with brain plasma splattered to the ground. On the surrounding ground, there were fish man corpses lying quietly, with their heads exploding, their chests collapsing, or their bones shattered. Blood gurgled out, staining the soil in this area a crimson hue. All, all destroyed. Aegean widened his eyes, his face full of disbelief. The scene before him completely surprised him. He originally thought that Bai Shao would get into a tough battle and needed him and the villagers to help. In this battle, half of the young people in Kakexia village may die before they can win. But never expected that when he arrived with the villagers, all the fish men of the dragon pirates were killed and turned into corpses on the ground. Just one person. So strong, this young man. Is the dragon pirates gang all dead now? Am I dreaming? The villagers were all stunned and equally frightened by this scene. So the powerful dragon pirate group was completely destroyed like this. Is it really fake? Nami, where did you find such a strong person? Nokigo looked at Nami in shock, her body trembling gently, and she couldn't help but tremble. He. Nami was speechless, her scalp tingling with the corpses of mermaids lying on the ground in front of her. She knew Bai Xiao was very strong, but she didn't expect him to be so strong. This is the strongest pirate group in the East China Sea. In less than a few minutes, this man completely destroyed them. You're joking. Are there really such strong humans in the world? I don't know his background either, he's very mysterious, Nami shook her head and whispered to answer Nokigo's question. She really doesn't know the origin of Bai Shao. The time spent between two people is only for physical communication, not for spiritual communication. Is that right? Nokigo was even more surprised and looked at the bloody scene, his doubts deepening in his heart. Such a bloody and brutal scene seems to have nothing to do with justice, right? Are you here? Bai Shao threw away Xiao Ba's body and gently shook his hand. Blood, brain plasma, and so on were all shaken off, leaving only a clean palm. He has been covering his body with armed colors, and these liquids have not even stained his skin. At this moment, with a tremble, they all shook off. However, it's not completely eradicated yet, the dragon is still alive. Bai Shao smiled and turned around, pointing in a certain direction ahead. Everyone looked over and was suddenly startled. I saw the dragon in a hurry, running towards the sea in a panic. They had never seen that panic look before. Dragon, did you run away? 
he seems very scared. He's afraid of brother Bai Shao. Noki Gao also looked in surprise at the fleeing dragon. This fearful posture never matches the image of a former bully. She's even a bit dazed, is this really a dragon? Bai Shao, he's a fishman. It's hard to catch up with him when he runs into the sea. Don't let him go. Nami also saw the fleeing dragon and anxiously said, Don't forget what you promised me. Of course, how could I forget? Bai Shao chuckled. Shua. In the next moment, intense airflow is generated around. Dust rises from the ground. Bai Shao has disappeared from sight. What happened? Everyone stared in amazement. A few people were rubbing their eyes hard, suspecting that they had hallucinations. Why did Bai Shao disappear in the blink of an eye? So fast. Noki's expression was high and slightly condensed, understanding that the man named Bai Shao had left at a speed that was difficult for the naked eye to reach in an instant. She turned her head and quietly glanced at the excited Nami. The conversation just now didn't seem like a just bounty hunter anymore. It's more like her sister Nami, who paid a certain price to make Bai Shao agree to take down the dragon pirates. Although I don't know what it is, it's definitely not easy to make such a strong person take action. That's right, that's it. Kill the dragon. Nami didn't pay attention to her sister Noki's high gaze and looked excitedly into the distance. On the beach. Bai Shao easily caught up with the fleeing dragon and raised his hand to cover it. It's just an ordinary palm. But the evil dragon showed a terrified expression, as if a big mountain had fallen, and he even held up his saw blade and swung back with his veins exposed. Bang! The palm comes into contact with the saw blade, causing it to instantly break and become countless pieces. Bai Zhao's palm continued to fall and pressed against the dragon's chest. Dong! A muffled sound like a watermelon cracking came. The dragon's chest suddenly collapsed, as if it had been compressed halfway, with all its bones and flesh sinking in. You! The dragon's eyes bulged fiercely, looking at Bai Shao in terror. Unable to say a word, he fell to the ground and died. Qing Ming outing and happy reading. Charge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge, activity period. April 4th to April 6th. Chapter 10 Noki Gao. I am willing to offer double commission. You are listening at novel full dot audio. So, that's. The villagers looked from afar and opened their mouths in surprise. Little brother Bai Shao killed the dragon with just one hand. What a powerful force. Can humans also be so strong? Where did Nami hire such a skilled bounty hunter? The villagers were greatly shocked. Aegean rubbed his eyes hard and muttered to himself, I almost thought the dragon was a human, and Bai Shao was the fish man. Evil dragon, is that all? Noki Gao was stunned, his expression blank. It's too fast. It's like slaughtering fish and chickens. So terrifying, so powerful, in the hands of this young man named Bai Shao, don't slap him to death. Dead without any sense of reality. Noki felt a strong emptiness in her heart, thinking it would be a grand and thorny revenge. I didn't expect it to end so quickly. There is no sense of participation at all, dragon, dead. Nami also felt dazed, and such revenge made her feel unreal. Years of planning and patience have been of no use. It was just a chance encounter with a man at sea, and after paying some price, he easily solved the dragon pirates. So what I thought was very difficult was so easy in the hands of the strong. Nami smiled bitterly. But anyway, the dragon is dead. The dragon pirates team has been defeated. The villagers quickly accepted this matter and immediately sent someone to the village to inform them of the good news, while the rest helped by shout collect the body of the fisherman. These fish people are all carrying bounties. All the heads together, the bounty is as high as 40 million bailey. Such a large sum of money would naturally not be wasted. And for the villagers, 
cutting their heads is also a way to vent their anger. Name and Noki are two sisters who are also involved. TSK TSK, the knife is really fierce. Bai Xiao glanced a few times and muttered inwardly. Watched by him, Nami looked a little strange and quietly hid behind her sister Noki Gao, seemingly unwilling to be seen by Bai Xiao. Bai Xiao doesn't care either. He had already seen more and could see it clearly. Before long, the head of the fish man was cut off. Even the fish man who was crushed by Bai Xiao would take off his deformed head completely. Brother Bai Xiao, are you going to the palace of the dragon pirates next? Aegean approached and asked. The dragon pirates are building a palace in the village of Kokosia. There is a large amount of looted treasure hidden inside. If Bai Xiao solves the dragon pirates, then this palace will naturally be Bai Xiao's spoils of war. Is it a palace? Bai Xiao nodded and said, then let's go. Obtain permission. The villagers set off excitedly. The group headed towards the palace of the dragon pirates in great soup. This palace is almost pure white in color. It's a bit like a king's castle, clean, bright, luxurious, and adorned with expensive jewelry in every corner. While the villagers were stunned at the sight. They have never seen such a luxurious place before. Not bad, Bai Xiao looked around with a faint expression and no reaction. In my previous life, I used to watch short videos, but I haven't seen any luxury cars or houses before. It is very rare for him to praise the palace of the dragon pirates. Of course, this indifferent attitude is different in the eyes of others. Brother Bai Xiao, it seems that he comes from an extraordinary background. Aegean showed a thoughtful expression. Nokigo also has a similar idea. Nami breathed a sigh of relief. She was eager to destroy this palace, but fortunately Bai Xiao had little interest and shouldn't have stopped her from destroying it here. Some of the treasures inside were looted from Kakexia village and surrounding towns, and this part will be returned to you. Bai Xiao said lightly, turning his head to look at Nami, Nami, you are responsible for handling this matter. Am I? Nami paused for a moment. Other villagers exclaimed in surprise. Great. Thank you so much, Mr. Bai Xiao. Mr. Bai Xiao, I would like to express my sincere gratitude to you on behalf of the other two villages and towns. Please rest assured, Mr. Bai Xiao. We will definitely not take an extra bailey. The villagers joyfully bowed to Bai Xiao. In terms of title, it has also been elevated from little brother to sir. This island has three villages and towns. Kakexia village is one of them. After the arrival of the dragon pirates, they implemented high dot pressure policies on three villages and towns, ruthlessly squeezing money, and even creating life buying money such as 100,000 bailey for adults and 50,000 bailey for children. Belmer had only 100,000 bailey at the time and chose to keep his two daughters alive. Therefore, he was killed by the dragon. The dragon pirate group plundered the wealth of three villages and towns in this form, causing the originally peaceful villages and towns to constantly struggle on the line of food and clothing. Go ahead. Bai Xiao waved his hand casually, letting the villagers in to tidy up their treasures. He doesn't really care about money. In the past life, when a person's social status reached a certain level, money was like a piece of scrap paper. And now with his golden finger, he is destined to be invincible in the world, and money is naturally a waste of paper. Everyone, come with me. Nami gave Bai Xiao a deep glance and led the villagers straight into the warehouse location. Nokigo did not follow, but instead stayed in place. After seeing the villagers all enter the palace, she walked up to Bai Xiao and smiled, saying, Thank you so much, Mr. Bai Xiao. You're welcome, it's a piece of cake, Bai Xiao glanced at her and smiled. This Nami's sister is also a beauty. She has short blue hair tied with a deep red headband, and her skin is a vibrant wheat color. Her figure is curvy and graceful, yet still slender, giving her a touch of femininity even more than Nami's. Also in the good shooting area of Baishao. As a gesture of gratitude, 
I am willing to double the amount Nami hired you for, Noki tentatively spoke. Bai Xiao was taken aback by the words and sneered, then you can't afford it. What I'm interested in is Nami. Nami. Noki was surprised and felt reasonable. She understood Bai Zhao's words as liking Nami's talent. This is also the area that the dragon pirates have a crush on Nami. I see, I'll just say. Noki sighed with a high smile, this child's talent can only be unleashed on the sea. If it weren't for the dragon pirates, he might have set sail long ago. Upon hearing this, Bai Zhao's expression was slightly strange. Their conversation doesn't seem to be on the same channel. Thank you to the big shot, 123456, for your reminder ticket and reward. Thank you for the reward from the big shot, Fei Lu book fans. Starting in the afternoon. Also, please ask for the flowers from the big shots. Evaluation ticket. Qingming outing and happy reading. Charge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge, activity period. April 4th to April 6th. 